Well, what I can tell you is you have failed yourself to have availed yourself to think that you have rights to someone's human body without the lawful introduction in a socially appropriate way. In other words, that guy doesn't know you anyway today. But you thought you'd attack his life. You thought you'd bring your little faggot network to come with you to cut his beard while he's sleeping there. And openly you've been attacking him for more than a year. So you too are in violation of federal law. You are a stalker. You are using technology to stalk. You are trying to harm someone. You're trying to abuse someone. You're trying to teach someone. You're trying to amuse yourself with someone. And openly you have failed yourself in front of the Lord. As a pagan priest, I can tell you that I find you offensive. As a pagan citizen, I find you to be putting me on the defensive for the rest of America. Because if you'll do that to that person, you'll do it to anyone. You'd probably rob a store. You'd probably kill a baby. You'd probably defecate a calf. Who knows what Satan's got you to do. But openly what I think is your life is through. You failed yourself when you availed yourself to touch a human being's body without their consent. At no time did that gentleman ask you to touch his face or groom his beard or touch anywhere else on him. Because what you're saying is that women have rights to not be sexually assaulted and raped, but what you're saying is it's okay by you for a man to be sexually assaulted and potentially raped. What a lie you've told yourself in front of God. What a destroyer of Jesus you are to ruin that man's peace, to give him psychological abuse, to emotionally attack his life, and openly to do it in your version of God. In America, we have rights, and you have totally lost your own rights because you decided to make up for your stupid play by telling everyone today information that is not your motherfucking business. At no time did that man invite you in any way to have sex with him or misbehave with him or play with him, and yet you thought you'd keep putting your hands down his pants and in his pockets and on his face with a pair of scissors to your disgrace. You're an immature child of Satan. You are operating as if you're five and don't know the rules of life. And if you are mentally unwell, you need to go back to the stall they should be putting you in for the rest of your life.